All right. Uh, got a couple of um, articles that I can uh, kick us off with uh, this afternoon, if you'd like. That is always welcome. So uh, here we are. Right. So that's, that looks perfect right there. All right. Uh, uh, so one thing that I came across a, a little bit ago that I thought would be worth mentioning is that Microsoft acknowledged that uh, in some cases, Windows 11 Pro is failing to upgrade to Windows 11 Enterprise. Um, basically, this this error code uh, comes up, and it seems that this has potentially been happening since April uh, Patch Tuesday. So uh, I think I've seen a couple of... Um, uh, messages or threads going on about this issue. So Microsoft is officially acknowledging it. Um, basically, you can see here the workaround is working on a resolution that will be released on a Windows update in the coming weeks. So uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled on uh, any additional workarounds that are released or when Microsoft actually patches this issue for us. So pretty interesting. Um, to say the least. I also came across a couple of nice articles. Um, one here from Nicholas Alberg on how to, um, so for a, a, a while now, <clears throat> when you log into a Windows 11 device for the first time, uh, join it to a, um, do an entry join or go through the autopilot process. You, many of you are probably familiar with seeing the uh, Windows Hello for Business um, uh, provisioning uh, workflow. So Nicholas wrote an article here on how you can actually disable that should you need to. Uh, there are a couple of notes uh, that I want to point out here at the top. There are a few downsides that come with the policy that he's uh, writing about here. Um, and additionally, the CSP that he's using, um, the documentation says that it works for only insider builds, but he uh, was able to get it working on the May 2024 accumulative update for Windows 11 as well. So if this is um, something that you need to do for a select number of devices or users where you want them to go through and provision Windows Hello for Business later on, not at the moment that they sign in, um, his blog post here will be a great resource for you, I think. And the usual uh, disclaimer, this is obviously not a supported solution. Yeah. Uh, since the CSP have that mention in it, so you're on your own if you stumble across some problems. Absolutely. And I, I might say, too, you probably, uh, given the uh, uh, security improvements that Windows Hello for Business brings, you may want to consider just doing that right away anyways. Uh, but I it's clear. there. Yep. Yep. Yes. All right. And then uh, lastly, came across this blog post from Jonathan over at System Center Dudes. Uh, we've had a couple of conversations here on office hours over the last several months on how to deploy the new Microsoft Teams uh, client. Um, Jonathan put together a post here on how to package that client both in Config Manager and in Tune. Um, so pretty straightforward stuff, um, but I just wanted to make sure that I pointed this out as well. Um, it's a, a nice quick read here on how we can get that deployed. Um, and then I saw a, a little bit of news uh, as well. Last week we talked I believe it was last week, maybe the week before, we talked a little bit on how uh, the Windows 11 24H2 release was um, paused. The preview was paused. Um, but it looks like it has now uh, been resumed this week. Johan, have you, uh, are you already on top of grabbing the latest media for that? Did that earlier this afternoon, in fact, yeah. That sounds about right. So that's uh, that's good. Indeed. Uh, Mike Terrell actually joined us uh, just a little while ago and mentioned, uh, and thank you, Mike, uh, that Rudy already had a blog post that addressing or is addressing that, that fix. So uh, I'm going to do a magic here. Kaboom, Mr. Mike Terrell. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Nice to have the support. <laughs> 
So I'll make sure I grab the link already as well, and I will make sure that's in our links for this evening. There you go. Brilliant. Community at, as it, uh, at its finest. That's right. All right. Uh, so that was what I had for this week. Well, I can... Let's see. Let me go back to the uh, this one here. So that was the post you just showed from Rudy. Uh, this is the flight hub for uh, Windows 11 24 or 24H2 update. And as you can see here, there haven't been really an update to this web page since uh, back in uh, May. But if you click this link here to go to the ISO table, where you do have the downloads of the different ISOs, you can see that they added this one, uh, the Enterprise Preview, I believe this morning. Um, I just saw a tweet about it earlier today. And I haven't seen it before at least, so it was new to me. Uh, Possibly been there before, but anyhow, it's downloaded and it will be tested, of course. Uh, for those of you that does regular updates, you can go even later builds, of course, but this was one where we have the ISO available. Then uh, we have something that is very near and dear to my heart that we've been working on silently in the background for a few months now, but this morning, we gathered our uh, entire team, well, five people, we are not that big, but uh, and we launched a community up on our Vimonstra Online Academy. So it's free for anyone to join, and uh, we hope to uh, see you there, asking questions, posting answers, uh, um, enjoying a vibrant, a vibrant uh, community. Um, the price is just right, of course, and I'm already signed in, and this is what we have today already. We started to build up some spaces here, uh, different topics. We can, of course, add in more as time goes by, but we figured we need to start somewhere. So this is somewhere. And uh, see, uh, Andrew has been a early poster already. Very good. Absolutely. Very excited about this. Uh to say the least. So, uh, yeah, please uh, head over to the Academy. Uh, find a cool floof in the left-hand corner, and uh, please join our community. <laughs>